Hello everyone, this is Jack from Dr. Prezap. Today I'm going to answer all the common asked questions on internet uh, regarding the lithium battery for Prius. Uh, I answer around 100 email, more than 100 email per day. So hopefully this video can save me some of the, uh, the email time and doing something R&D that really can help with the project. So here we go. The most common asked question for sure is uh, what's the MBG or what's the fuel economy looks like after installing the lithium battery? Well, it's all depends on how you drive the car. Everyone drives differently. For me, I pick, pick up my kids and drive on my kids every day and they're always late. Therefore, I always drive in like a madman. And, and of course, my MBG not gonna be good. Uh, but if you drive carefully, utilize the electricity, the, the electric motor uh, much more often, you will definitely get much better higher uh, higher MPG than the the original nickel nitride high battery. Usually, the the average for the MPG gain is about 10% more, more than 10%. So that's what you can do to uh, calculate your gas saving in the future. Um, I know it's a quite investment to purchase the, any battery or leasing battery, but if you factor in the gas saving you're gonna get in the near future, then you are def definitely a good investment, right? All right, next question. What's the life expectancy of the lithium battery? Well, this is a very good question. Um, our product is designed to last more than a decade, uh, more than 10 years. Um, the warranty is two years unlimited miles. Um, however, to keep the lithium battery healthy, uh, you have to drive the car normally, okay? We have, I'm pretty sure a lot of people hyper mileage. They try to squeeze every juice out of the lithium battery uh, to, uh, to gain a little bit of MPG. I mean, it's just like your cell phone. If you always keep your cell phone at 10% charge, your cell phone battery is not gonna last a year. I'm pretty sure a couple of months is going to die very soon. Same thing to the uh, previous our lithium battery. Just try to get drive it normally so that it has time to charge recharge and then uh, discharge as you need in the, in the city don't hyper manage all the time and thinking if you can squeeze a little bit of mpg out of it i'm telling you it's not worth it because in the long run you want to let the leasing battery last more than 10 years right so just drive it normally mm. So our first prototype, very first prototype is still on my test car. Uh, the very famous Rainbow Prius. It still had the original battery since 2016 uh, and still running very strong at around 95% capacity still. So I'm pretty sure it can last more than 10 years, no problem. And we'll shoot a video on that uh, later this year. Um, Next question, any trouble complaint regarding the lithium battery? That's a good question. The first one, the, the more common one is essentially the broken stud. Uh, this stud is made of copper alloy composite, so it's softer than the stock battery, which is made of stainless steel. Uh, it's softer, but it has much, much better conductivity. That means less heat generated and the better connection so you'll uh, translate to better MPG at the end. Uh, so the torque spec for this copper alloy composite stud is two pound feet of torque. Um, but of course, not everyone read the user menu before the installation. So if you use the impact gun, there's a risk that you're gonna damage it. And that's the, first, that's the most common issue people have with the lithium battery. Uh, however, we did make some improvement on our latest uh, batch. This batch over here that we just got last week has the improved version of the um, uh, copper composite. It's stronger, it's at least double, uh, more than double actually, twice the, the strength of the original, the, this one, this uh, uh, from the version 1.5. Okay, uh, and of course, this, this doesn't come cheap. We have the lab analyze the composite and do some modification, creating this new alloy called carbon, sorry, copper carbon alloy to strengthen up the, uh, the stud. And that I just test it, it's phenomenal. So I hope this broken stud problem will st stop uh, from now on. Okay. Um, so those are the most common issues have with the 
decent battery. I'm totally honest with you. Uh, and we do have another complaint, not complaint, but it, and it's not the same problem, but people does encounter the issue that I want to share with you. It's called Fenton Drain. Um, we have user uh, all of the world, for example, Australia user, uh, he keep getting drained from couple couple blades. We thought it's a battery problem, but turns out it's the battery ECU. Uh, we investigate and find out that in the ECU itself has a ants, a nest of ants inside the ECU, living inside the ECU, causing the short on certain pins. Therefore, the battery keep draining. We also have customer from Florida. Uh, due to the humidity, there's uh, damage, water damage inside the uh, battery ECU and keep draining certain blades. So um, the solution is super easy. Just get a used ECU from eBay for like $70 US dollar or 80 US dollar. It's very cheap. Just get one and replace it. You won't have this phantom drain problem because no matter what battery you put on it, if you keep draining, the battery is going to die very soon. Okay. Uh, next question, what should I do with the old nickel metal, metal hydride battery? That's a very good question. Um, depend on the condition of the nickel metal hydride battery. Uh, if it's still, if it's no good, I always recommend the user just recycle it at the Home Depot. There's an orange recycle bin for the rechargeable battery. You can just uh, put in piece by piece, blade by blade, put it into the, the bin cell. Or you can stop by repair shop. Any hybrid repair shop will gladly take your battery. They're gonna sell you, they're gonna recondition and sell it to the next customer. Or um, we are actually working on the recycle program. Um, uh, detail will be in the next video. Uh, so basically, you could potentially use the same box that we ship to you to return the Nigo Metro head battery and we're going to send it to the recycler and that could offset the cost that you pay for the leasing battery. Uh, we don't know the detail yet, but you could at least probably offset the shipping fee and all that. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Uh, next question. What's the cold weather performance? Uh, this question is often asked by people living in the very cold area. Uh, I can tell you the battery is protected by the ECU, the battery ECU. So when it's extreme cold or extreme hot, the ECU is going to cut off the battery to the battery anyway. So it's not going to damage the battery. Uh, for example, if you live in Alaska, the, in the cold weather, it's not going to use your battery much. Right, most of these front engine itself. Uh, so uh, in that sense, the new metal hydride battery and lithium battery, or lithium phosphate battery, had a very similar characteristic um, in terms of the uh, temperature. Um, and so the question you should be asking is, what's the storage um, characteristic for the lithium battery? Well, the uh, nickel metal hydride battery has much higher discharge rate, cell discharge rate in extreme weather conditions. It means that you're gonna drop the voltage even though you are not using it, but just living at a cold or hot temperature. You're gonna drop the voltage and very quick it's gonna drop to zero. For the leasing battery, it has minimum cell discharge in even at extreme cold or extreme hot. Uh, that means it can last much longer if you're just sitting there not using it at all. Okay, in that terms, our battery is definitely stronger in cold weather performance. Next question, what's the next project? Well, we have so many projects going on right now. Uh, we have the Highlander Hybrid Pack in production. We have RX400H Pack in production. We have RX450H Pack in production. Those are the, the only and the very first lithium alternative for SUV pack. So I'm very uh, exciting on that. We also working on the version two of the lithium battery. Uh, we modified the chemistry and also uh, improved the, uh, the circuit board inside. Uh, but it's been delayed, so you should be able to hit the market next year. Um, yeah, and the goal is to make the battery last even longer and of course, the uh, save you a lot of gas in the long run.
So we continue to improve that so nobody can ever catch up or try to copy us because this is a product that continue to improve based on your feedback and suggestion and we listen. So we want to make our product last forever and save you tons of gas. That's our goal. Um, and next question. I think that that's the last question. Uh, what's what's up with the distributor program? When can I buy it from AutoZone? <laughs> so as you see, uh, we constantly sold out on our online store. Um, this this container we just got got it last week, and the next next week is probably all sold out again. So we don't have enough product to <laughs> send over to our distributor. That's why we closed our 2022 distributor program. We do, however, still have the installer, certified installer program, where we get discount to all the installer out there. Uh, right now we have more than 50 inst certified installers throughout the United States, all getting our discount code and everything. Um, so you are welcome to become one of the installer. We, I will try my best to support you with the product that we promise. Uh, but for now, yeah, we are still trying to catch out the production. Uh, the COVID lockdown in the factory is not helping at all. So uh, we're still trying to meet our demand. Okay, I guess that's all the question that the uh, most asked question that I can answer for now. Um, so definitely the next video, uh, we're going to go through some of the testing with the prototype, the first, very first prototype. Uh, and see what's the uh, real life expectancy to show you firsthand on that. So definitely stay tuned. And uh, if you like the content like this, definitely hit that subscribe. I'll continue pumping out useful information for you guys to follow. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.